When I was coming up with the idea, and I knew Wally would be a big space action film, so a really unique sound design was an absolute necessity to get into the sci-fi of it. And so you start thinking, who the heck's done that before? And really, it's just been Ben Bird. <laughs> Every sound designer is asked to create some sort of a world in sound. And of course, it's most inspiring when the whole movie essentially requires an original new world of sound. Ben has won many Academy Awards doing sound and sound design. This is a perfect film for him. He's worked on all the Star Wars movies. He's the father of not only R2-D2, but of all the sounds in the Star Wars universe, the Indiana Jones universe, and thank goodness he said yes. Caution, rogue robots. I spent lots of time recording a lot of sound effects. We needed all kinds of crashes and mechanical sounds, motors of all kinds. <laughs> and I went on eBay and found an old army radio generator. And I thought, well, that's a kind of a neat sound. And while he moves at high speed. Use that when the periscope extends or goes up. Very cool. That's great. It was such a treat to work with him. It's really hard to keep it together when you're working alongside a hero like that. Caution, rogue robots. Oh, Wally! Oh, oh. I think what appeals to me the most about Pixar is that there's so many good people here. People are just so talented. I don't know how they do it. Many of the sounds seem so much better to me when I saw them with the animation, and I said to myself, you know, privately, ah, that's pretty good stuff. Ten seconds to self-destruct.